on behalf of myself and for all Americans, I want to express profound appreciation to you, Your Holiness, and to all of those from the Holy See who made it possible for us to meet in Vatican City. This is truly a city of peace, love, and charity where the highest of the humblest among us seek to follow in the footsteps of the fishermen. As you know, Your Holiness, this is my first visit to Europe as president, and I would like to think of it as a pilgrimage for peace, a journey aimed at strengthening the forces for peace in the free West while offering new opportunities for realistic nego negotiations with those who may not share the values of freedom and the spirit we cherish. Welcome to Vatican Splendors, a journey through faith and art at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Museum, open now through August 28, 2016. In this video podcast, we'll explore this truly must-see 10,000 square foot exhibition, which is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to view 200 priceless artifacts from Vatican City, spanning over 2,000 years of Vatican history and art. From the opening theater experience, where visitors will become immersed in the grandeur of the Vatican, to the closing object of a cast of St. John Paul II's hand, which visitors may grasp, Guests to the Reagan Library will encounter the art, history, and culture of the Vatican with unprecedented access and insight. Even if you had the chance to go to Rome, you wouldn't see these objects on display because most of these objects are not available to be seen by the general public. And one example of that is a reliquary that we have from the College of St. Urbain that actually hangs in a private chapel. Uh, and it is believed to hold the bones of St. Peter, St. Paul, Joseph, and Anne. This special presentation of art and objects includes many never before on display in North America, and some not on view to the general public, even in Rome. Following its time at the Reagan Library, the items will return to the Vatican, from which they cannot be absent for more than one year. The exhibit includes one of Michelangelo's signed documents, and a rarely seen bas-relief sculpture created toward the end of his career. Other objects include actual bone fragments and real items discovered in the tombs of St. Peter and Paul, as well as historical objects from the modern and ancient basilicas of St. Peter's in Rome. Uh, this bus is John Paul II. Uh, he was still quite young when it was made by Enrico Manfredi, which is a famous sculptor in, in Italy. And uh, it has special meaning because the idea of this exhibition was partially from him. He wanted people that was away from Rome and was for whom maybe it was difficult to go to Rome to be able to uh, see and to experience the art we are here. The title of the exhibition is A Journey Through Faith and Art. The objects are presented in galleries and recreated environments designed to enhance the understanding of their historical and artistic significance. Visitors will feel transported to the Vatican, from the underground catacombs where the remains of St. Peter were discovered, to the magnificent papal chambers found above ground. From the sights and sounds of the Grand Basilica to a touchable cast of St. John Paul II's hand, the exhibition is a multi-sensory experience. It's a true insider's view of the Vatican, including its spiritual, artistic, and ceremonial treasures. The invitation is to come to, to, to witness the long history of the Church's dialogue with the world, and as you leave, in fact, literally to embrace the hand of St. John Paul II, who's cast, the cast of his hand, he's here, uh, welcoming people and greeting people as they leave. For this exhibition, he permitted to a uh, cast of his right hand to be made. And it is this. Originally, it was made in a different way because the hand was like that. But by being touched by people, it was broken, which is maybe better because before you could not put your hand like that. So when they were doing this cast of, the, of his hand, St. John Paul II was already old, and uh, his secretary was telling him, Your Holiness, we can maybe put a, a very thin glove so your hand will not be dirty. And uh, he answered with his voice, it is true that the, that the Pope is already old, but I can still wash my hands afterwards, so he didn't want to the glove. And uh, with that cast was made of his hand and his, his let's say, handprint. Uh, so people can really feel that touch, that personal uh, hello or goodbye. For more information and to pre-purchase tickets, please visit reaganlibrary.com forward slash Vatican Splendors. All tickets also include admission to the Reagan Library Museum and Air Force One Pavilion. But again, there's a little more I can say except to thank you and to say once again, I'm sure that many of us, millions and millions in the world, have had our faith renewed 
and our belief that in times of great need, God does send someone here to help us in those times. And I think in this holy man, uh, he has once again done that when the need was so very great. And we're all grateful and thank God for him. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this Inside the Reagan Library video. See you soon.